Welcome back, WVBL listeners. This is DJ Jam and Jade on WVBL Radio. And I'm here with the one of a kind, Whitney Waz, by phone from Detroit. Now, Whitney, I, I, passed over, I passed over that you went to Carleton, but Justin Bieber, come on, work with me here. Of course, I, I, I do believe you know, Justin Bieber is a very talented artist, but you know sometimes everyone's got to get... Honestly, that made me laugh, too. I was thinking, like, why did I throw Justin Bieber in there? But I do like the way... Well, first of all, I like that he like made a bunch of Christian music and was like, dude, who cares what anyone says? Because I think that's what music is about in general. Like, It's very easy to be swayed to make something, or just art in general. Like, It's easy to be you have to make what's new, what's popular and stuff like that. And I like was inspired by the fact that he was like, okay, I'm done doing what everyone's telling me to do. I'm just going to make what I want to make. And it was like really popular songs and they were like Christian songs. <laughs> I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, but also Justin Bieber has like been super talented since he was like a really little kid. Mm-hmm. So I've like seen, lot of videos of him like drumming like crazy drum patterns and mm-hmm. stuff and he's yeah. like two years old so I was like impressed by him at a young age but I never was like I'm 28 years old so I'm and I'm also gay so I've never been like oh my god Justin Bieber you know what I mean <laughs> right but as an artist I do respect him but it still is like it was cool to hear my bio in my own voice so <laughs> I did laugh at that too. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Your bio mentioned that you played, you know, throughout Michigan. Um, is there any places in particular that sticks out to you that you played that you like to share? Yeah. Um, I, one of my friends, he run like, I don't even know how to properly, he curates music festivals. So they're a uh, big club presents. And every time I perform at those, it feels pretty cool because, like, I perform all around Detroit all the time. It's pretty easy to get, like, you know, just small bookings everywhere. If you want to perform, you really can, which is also what I love so much about being in Detroit. If you really want to go out, you can. But, um, yeah, just, like, it it feels cool to, like, do bigger shows like that because then your friends that do those smaller shows with you are like, oh, my God, dude, like, how do I get on big events like that? And it really is all about who you know, but those are definitely my favorite. And those are actually in Indiana. What's that? Those are actually, those festivals are actually in Indiana. Well, they're on the Michiana border. Oh, really? So, Cool. Was it like Jones, yeah, the ones in Jones, Michigan. Okay. Which is like I think literally right by the Michigan or on the border of Indiana, and then the other one was in Heartland. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So super close. It's not close to me though. Yeah, those are. I think those locations are still about three, four hours away from us. So, so uh, good. Whitney, uh, when is your? Because uh, you have a um, album coming out here soon, right? Um, oh yeah so that was also what I thought was interesting I must have just like making false promises in my bio because I have been working on an album but currently I'm pausing the work on my album and working with a Grammy award winning producer his name is Jared Lee Goslin and him and I are working on a six song EP so that is like kind of that's taking priority over everything Mm -hmm. but we're gonna release it kind of how I've been releasing my music just presently I just release everything as a single and then I'm gonna combine I could honestly probably combine all of the music that I have right now into an album I just I just haven't (laughs) I like (laughs) to release it as singles just because you can see how it's gonna do and then you can kind of decide, like, okay, this song did really well, that one didn't, that one's not going on the album, but exactly. this one will, because it performed well as a single. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so it's like a bunch of math problems happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Sometimes life's an equation. Yes, exactly. Life is an equation. That's the best <laughs> way to describe it. <laughs> Okay, Whitney, um, I would like to discuss something a little more personal. Um, you and I briefly talked about this um, prior to today's interview. Um, like me, I have many uniqueness, um, 
and personal challenges. It is my understanding that one of your challenges is having ADHD. While we both know that such challenges do not define who we are as a person, but sometimes sharing our story can inspire others with similar challenges. Can you briefly explain how having ADHD has inspired and affected your music, and do you have any suggestions for others who may, ha who may feel overwhelmed or challenged in their lives? I definitely do, and because I have ADHD, I wrote my response out. <laughs> With this. I do have ADHD, of course. Um, I write a lot of lyrics, or like I write a lot of lyrics that I guess are symptoms of having ADHD, which I didn't really realize until I started doing more research about ADHD. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote a song actually that will be on my EP. It's called Outside, and it's like a symptom of. Um, ADHD it's like you feel kind of like you're a disposable part of every group or like you fit in but you don't you fit in everywhere but you don't really fit in anywhere so you just kind of feel like you're like on the outside of things so that song literally is inspired by that one symptom of ADHD and it's probably the cool one of the coolest songs I ever wrote Jimmy. oh also, writing music has been, I feel like, the healthiest, like, coping mechanism with my ADHD or, like, when I feel bad about myself for being so all over the place, I feel like, you know, I can, like, pull up my notes and be like, okay, let's write how I'm feeling down. So, with, like, my psych degree and stuff like that, I feel like I'm my own therapist just by writing songs, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. ADHD is weird for sure. <laughs> um, that's really neat how you just explained all that, and and that not only that, you've you've actually written a song about that. So I am really excited to uh, not only hear that song when it comes out, um, but also share it here on WVBL Radio. Um, do you have any suggestions? Yeah. You know, like you kind of briefed on, um, you know, how how it affects you. But do you have any suggestions for our listening audience, um, whether they're artists or whether it's, you know, artists and as musicians or otherwise, um, or just in yeah. life in general, do you have any uh, recommendations? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I, because I am, I'm super empathetic. I have a bachelor's in psychology. I feel like I give this advice a lot because it's something that I did. But two years ago, I decided I was going to start controlling things that I had control over. So that was like my biggest thing in general is my advice like when you're feeling down about having ADHD or anything whether it's ADHD or just anxiety whatever focus on changing the things that you can control and be so focused on bettering yourself and you know working on those things that you have no time to think about where you before thought you fell short or you know, the things that made you anxious or whatever, because you're controlling what you can mm -hmm. and you are so focused on that. You can't even think about the things that you can't control. So that's like my, obviously I'm not perfect and that doesn't always, you know, work, but for the most part, it really does because I feel like a hundred percent better person than I was two years ago because I decided I'm going to work on the things I can control and I can't focus on anything else. Absolutely. Um, I think a lot of us, gets, we get wrapped up in the world, and we allow the, we allow the world to, you know, affect us um, negatively sometimes just because, of, you know, we just get too busy in it. And so sometimes we worry about things that we can't control, and I'm guilty of it myself. Um, my degree is not in psychology. It's actually in criminal justice. And, uh, but we, oh, shoot. <laughs> but we did... Um, we did actually have, and I'm an outreach minister now, so talk about it, and a, and a DJ, so talk about some diversity. Um, and uh, But one of the things that we've always noticed is that we let our emotions control and dictate our actions. That can, it never really turns out too well for us. And Yeah, definitely. So, and I kind of rambled there. I'm going to have to edit some of that, too. No, so. you did no, I, I like that. I, I feel... I feel connected to that because it's true people and that's even a way to think about it like when people like you know react emotionally and like treat you bad mm -hmm. it's like okay 
kind of helps you if you are able to like slow down and be like, okay, this isn't me. It's them, you know, like just let them feel like a human because I'm a human sometimes too. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that I've learned personally and uh, is to try to love other people first before we turn to anger or frustration. And it's the, yeah, it's the it's the perspective that we that we carry and and present, and it allows us to be more optimistic about things instead of being you know so pessimistic, you know as the world tries to beat us down sometimes. Yeah, for sure. It's very like popular to be negative, which is unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Let's, I said, let's spread that love. A- absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Like I've been like I've been mentioning, I interview other artists as well. So, Whitney, um, with your experience so far, do you have any recommendations for new artists wanting to start their professional career? Yeah, market the yourself. Go <laughs> to events and tell everybody who you are and be your biggest fan. Because if you're not your biggest fan, nobody. If you don't believe in you, nobody else is going to. It's weird how much confidence carries you in this industry. Like there's some people that really are not very musically inclined and have a huge following because they are just, they have the it factor, they're confident. So confidence in being your number one fan, honestly, and marketing yourself. Absolutely. In the business world, we oftentimes will say, dress for success and- And to me, with you know, in the music industry, just even as me as a just a DJ, attitude is everything. And oh um, yeah, and projecting one's positive attitude and um, with the intention of hopefully inspiring other people really goes a long ways. And to show to show people that you really do care about other people, be that light to shine, so other people can see. Yeah, no, definitely. you have to be because I mean I have. Romans 12 2 tattooed down my spine and it's do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and that's like just everything in this world is trying to get you you know to not be a light or whatever like if you are that light people need that light and people want that light it may annoy some people but to like I don't I this is like to not sound hockey or whatever, but like when I walk into a room, like people know that I'm there because my energy is like loving and inviting people like come to me when I come to places, if that makes any sense. Oh, actually, you know, it actually, it does. I have sometimes I have the same effect. Um, and again, it's not to be self, you know, self-serving when you have a, when you have a loving personality, um, that's infectious. Um, especially with yeah. uh, especially with everything going on in our world nowadays, we need that positive. You know, our society needs somebody positive to stand up to it. And I, I believe our society. You know, we as a society as a whole right now is so thirsty for that. Um, so, yeah. so when somebody steps up to the plate, shall you say, and and it's positive, people are just are craving that. And if yeah. and for those of for those of us who have the opportunity to be positive for other people, we, you know, it's, for me is a blessing. So, um, yeah. It, Absolutely. And for like other artists, I like hope and pray that they like stay true and authentic to themselves because it's so like, I've seen a lot of people that like, are like, Oh, I'm making this content because like it's popular and that's what people want to see. Like it may be cringy and it's like, wait, are you losing yourself in that process? Like it may be something small, but you're continuing that behavior you're ultimately going to turn into that cornball just be authentic and be you you know absolutely sometimes tell people that you know be your authentic self because when yeah it, when it comes down to the you know to the end of the day or the end of your life that's what's going to matter is your authenticity and your integrity as a and character as a person absolutely that's really the main thing that's all that matters Okay, um, Whitney, um, where can our listeners find and purchase your music? <laughs> now that we rambled on about life, <laughs> um, my music can literally be found anywhere. Mm-hmm. YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, 
Amazon Music, wherever you stream music and you like to listen to music, you can find me there. Whitney Boise on all platforms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. And uh, um, I just figured I'll let you have the opportunity to share that information because when I started researching um, to do this interview, yeah, you were everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I, I, found you on Am- I, like. I found you on Amazon, YouTube, um, uh, SoundCloud. and uh, Oh, yeah, SoundCloud, too. Yep, yep. So I'm glad I forget to check the stats on there because I'm like very adamant about checking my stats every day. Yeah, there you but, go. Uh, without her, without her, one of my I think that is the first song I released, and that has like twenty thousand streams on it. So that's crazy. Yeah, I said, yeah, I saw that actually, and I was like, all right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, Whitney, before we close with the interview, um, which I hope is the first of more to come, and before we move on to the music part of your of the show, what can you tell us about your studio concert show that you recently released on YouTube channel? Um, so, I've actually been, I've wanted to do this type of thing for a while. Me and my friend, Tyler, had been talking about it when I was like, I just want to film like a bunch of music videos. Like I just want everybody to see what I've been doing. And he's like, okay, well, realistically, money wise, you should probably do like a tiny guest concert. And I was like, you know what, that's way cooler. I'll be able to sing these songs for people live and yeah, I'm gonna do it. So we talked about it for like a year. (laughs) And I finally decided that I was gonna do it. and like the way that I set it up was like I did every song in a different color shirt Yep. so if you liked one song like after you watched it you're like oh I really like that song that she sang when she was wearing that Breeze Canna shirt okay fast forward I'm gonna listen to Note you know so I did it and one of my favorite podcasters actually does her thing like that like because she has in video um, ads Mm -hmm. so she'll like wear color sure when the ad and I was like oh that's like I'm jocking that because that's so perfect because I have like I said ADHD and sometimes I don't want to listen to everything I want to go through you know I don't want to hear the extra talking I just want to hear what I want to hear so I gave people an opportunity to do that and yeah I actually a few of the songs I wanted to release so bad (laughs) <laughs> and I'm not able to release them yet, so right. I sent a few unreleased ones too, and then yeah, release that. And the first time I ever did anything where it was like multiple songs within one release, and my first time ever like singing live and it being recorded. If that ever, if that makes sense. But. Oh no, it does. Um, I have to say, I really enjoyed. I already, I was already sold on your music um, prior to seeing. That that show that you released because I was actually you know I think we were actually talking on Facebook and uh, um, you're like you sent me the you sent me the link once it was released because I just got done looking at it on you know on YouTube um, late at night and I'm like oh release tomorrow oh, oh snap I gotta wait another day and then it was thirty minutes oh my God, I love that. <laughs> forty-five minutes later I get an, I get an email from or a message from you saying it's here it is and I'm like sweet um, yeah. but we watched that. You know, um, I watched it with my wife, um, and I watched it with another artist, actually, a new artist that we're trying to help promote, and it was just amazing, in my opinion. Um, it yeah. really, it really showed your personality. Um, yes, I, and it's really hard to explain in words. Really, really words just does not give it justice. Um, for the, okay, for, so cool. <laughs> for that, for, you know, for that video, because I really liked how you did that. I like how you change shows that you know you changed your makeup and everything and it just you you brought you brought a different personality and a character to each song and you know you brought that song you brought each song to life with that and i think that's you know it's so talented as an artist for on your on your behalf there that was really it's really it's really neat and you cry (laughs) oh so um so anyone that really wants to anybody wants to understand what i'm talking about here is Go to Whitney Waz on YouTube, look at her channel, and look for her, her uh, uh, studio concert. It is really amazing. It's really neat. Um, and I could watch it over and over again, So, which I probably will after, after this interview. Um, 
Yep, so, better. So, so, <laughs> there you go. So yes, um, that was that was really neat. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Oh, you are very very welcome. Thank you for thank you for sending that to to us to let me know because we were like I said we were patiently waiting waiting to watch that. Um, <laughs> You're like oh well I don't have to look. You know, and that's part of the marketing. What? That's part of the marketing is making you know making making people wait sometimes. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, a lot of it has to do with uh, you know uh, the legal process of everything, getting things done and you know in a, in a, accordingly. Yeah, exactly. It's cool though to hear that you were like patiently waiting. Well, not even patiently waiting, <laughs> waiting for it to come out. That's exciting. Yes, um, I have a lot of people already that are very interested in in, in, in patiently waiting for your interview to come through. Um, so, yeah. but uh, so many people are like, how the heck do I get? interview how do I listen to it I'm like well first I gotta do it <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I do I will let everybody know and once there, we, I have so many people so excited I'm I'm excited once we do this uh, once we do this interview I will be making a uh, Facebook advertisement and that will have the link it'll, it'll have your pictures you know your promotion um, and it'll have the link to our website which people can go right to our website and then there's a listening button, and you can listen to it right from there. Um, and then on the on the, the website itself, there's also an Android download app that you could use um, for for WPPL oh. Radio. And so there's many different ways of listening to it. Um, we are contracted through Live 365, so you can go directly that way, you know, through that route as well. Oh, cool! Mike's gonna be so happy about that. What's that? My grandma's gonna be so happy about that. Uh -huh. Anything to things easier for my grandma to access I recorded a cover of hallelujah for my grandma mm -hmm. and I'm not kidding you I had everybody on Facebook who is my friend tagging my grandma in this post and it took her like two weeks for her to see this song that she had been requesting for me to sing I'm like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> the easier the link, the easier the access, the better for my grandma. <laughs> oh, I, I hear you. I hear you. Not everybody's, not everybody's techie. Um, yeah, I'm not, so <laughs> I get it. <laughs> as far as the advertisement goes, um, we're going to be, like I think I mentioned to you, we're going to be advertising on Facebook. I'm going to be doing our area over here, which is uh, western Indiana from from Indy all the way to, and we, it actually touches a little bit of uh, Illinois. Um, so all of western Indiana, and then we're going to do the entire Downriver area. Uh, probably touch cool. Detroit, Ann Arbor, uh, obviously Flower Rock, Gibraltar, you know Monroe, uh, you know all those that southeast southeast Michigan. I'm going to try to push the entire area for you, and uh, and that is going to run from after I get done <laughs> here. <laughs> that's the first thing I'm going to do is is, is build your uh, um, your advertisement, and I will also send you the link. And it'll it'll start soliciting you know through through Facebook probably immediately. So um, people up there will start seeing it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll probably get some start getting some feedbacks pretty quickly. So um, hopefully, yay! I'm and, so excited. Yeah, I mean, I my last uh, artist um, was was Ivory Blue. I'm not sure if you're familiar with her or not. Um, but, wow, that's a really cool name. I'm not. I will it, look her up after this. Yeah. Um, um, she's really a really awesome. Um, her numbers, as soon as those ads hit, you know, even in her in her, she's in Kansas City, and her Kansas City numbers just went through the, you know, for us on our on our end statistically, you know, went through the roof. So um, I can only imagine what the, what, the, what the Detroit market's going to do. So um, yeah, I can, <laughs> it should be it should be pretty exciting. So that, that, you know, I'm I'm really going to do my best to edit this really the best I can for you, and get people to know who you are, um, get people to know your music, and, you know, God willing, it'll, it'll take it from there for you, and you just you keep doing what you're doing, being you, and we'll, we'll you make, know, we'll that's make... the goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, I, I okay. feel blessed, and I'm grateful for, was it Shauna that introduced us? What's that? Uh, who introduced us? Shauna? Is that her name? Actually, a good friend of ours, um, Sheila. Um, Sheila, okay, and she is friends with my aunt. Yeah, it went, so, it went from person to person to person to person, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, just everybody bouncing everybody around, but I'm grateful for all the people that made this connection happen. Yeah, so are we, so are we. 
We are so glad to have you here. Okay, Whitney, before we go, I want to thank, thank you again for joining me for this interview. All of us here at WVBO Radio are excited to follow your career. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. I'm really grateful that we were able to connect, and I'm excited for everyone to, you know, hear everything that I've been working on. Absolutely. So, so are we. Okay, now, um, WVBO Radio listeners, here is Whitney Waz and her studio concert, edited for radio, starting after these brief messages. <laughs> 